Yeah. I've lost the. Uh, I can't really move my neck very much to the left or to the right. Oh, okay. Cool. But it's not okay. It's not cool. But it's a good one for me to work on. You should have been first tonight. <laughs> I was too scared. <laughs> <laughs> I was told this is going to be a comedy show. <laughs> Since you got me here. Well, it is a comedy show, really. Um, sometimes it is. And it was three, free beer as well, she said. Oh, free yeah. beer. <laughs> hey, that's what we're going on. We should advertise. Free smell of ice. <laughs> oh, right. okay. So, how long ago was the car accident? Exactly 30, about 32 years ago. Wow. Right, and at that time, were you in fear of your life? It was serious, yeah. Yeah, it was a serious accident, yeah. okay. So, one of the things I've learned over the years working as a healer is when somebody's had something like that, it's not just about the physical, it's almost like, <gasps> with this, this massive holding on to energy, and that can be what's trapped in here. Okay. E used a lot because it makes the cells vibrate. If you can imagine crossing the road, and as you're crossing the road, there's a screech of brakes, you, hear, you see, a, see a car hurtling towards you, you go, ah, ready for impact. It's a very natural physiological response. The body responds differently when we're expecting an impact to when it's in shock. When, when we are expecting an impact, we go, ah, and there's like this sheath on the bones that gets ready for impact, and then things can bounce off that sheath. Uh, but what can happen is, let's say, for example, you know you're going to hit, you're going to hit this wall. You can see it, and your body's ready for that impact. But let's say there's a tiny little stone on the wall. Your body isn't ready for that black little bit, and that can be the bit that gets stuck. through the crown, but they're also working to address the fear that was held in the body at that time. And so my hands are going re really quite hot at the moment. Um, usually when my hands go hot, that means we're working on muscles to relax muscles. When they go cold, they're working on the bone. Lots of different uh, guides work through me based on what the person needs. So if somebody's got a neck injury, then the surgeon that comes through is one that will specialise with necks. And so this one is Dr. Oswaldo Cruz, and he usually works on anybody that's got any kind of paraplegia. God bless. All right, so they're doing a scan. Uh, the beings that work through me, they invariably feel amazing to me, which is why you'll see me looking younger at the end of the night. I won't be exhausted. If anything, I sometimes <coughs> have to walk me down from cloud nine to sleep. But usually I sleep deeply. It's like head touches the pillow and wow, great sleep. <coughs> right, just try turning your head again. Notice how that's feeling. Definitely looser. It's looser already, isn't it? You yeah. can see that. Brilliant. Right, now they're getting stuck in. <laughs> so all the movements you see me making the whole evening, I never decide to do any of it myself, apart from go for me drink. <laughs> the rest of it is, is that this is where the energy is stuck, right here. E healings that have started tonight will continue. You're just at the beginning of a journey, guys. They'll block the energy channels. They'll keep working with you for at least 21 days. And even if you've not been out the front, you will find whatever you've asked for, they'll start working with you on. Just give that another try. Yeah, much yeah. It's a lot better, eh? Yeah. And it's been like that for how many years? 32. 32 years. I've never turned my legs on my oh. side like that. Now the next bit is here. Now a doctor <coughs> would never look here for energy. Never, never. But it's because it's so long ago. 
Now this energy is going to be taken right out of the auric field so that it don't come back. The healthy aura extends about 30 feet. Yeah, you try turning that now. <laughs> Crazy. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Big bloody cave tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you want to get his free beer? <laughs> yeah. I'm getting one afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we well, straight down the bar. I spent I spent a lot of years being absolutely teetotal, um, but now I, I I will occasionally have a a glass of something, won't I? Yeah. It's all good. Everything in moderation, guys. Oh, they're still working. Yeah, you're going to get a really good result. Mm. <coughs> All right, we're just going to talk about injustice. There is a lot of injustice in this world. There is. But there is also <coughs> a lot of injustice. You need to know that everything that happens to you here, everything you experience is known about. Every hair on your head is counted. And so on a physical level, People can let us down, people can betray us, people can hurt us, and some people, you know, rip people off, and it, it seems like they get off scot-free. <coughs> they don't. Yeah? It also seems like the people doing a lot of good in this world get no thanks, no recognition. Well, you wait until the afterlife, you're gonna be amazed. Everything is known, and there is divine law. And I guess I'm, I'm saying that in this healing because you've been through something that will have felt unfair, unjust. Somebody may have, it feels like they got off scot-free or whatever. No, they did. <coughs> right, another turn your head again. So much better. That's great, isn't it? Hey? Yeah, give them a round of applause.